Yo guys, uh, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. The daily uploading is again starting this week. Um, this is my 941 video, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's how many. 941 videos. Crazy, crazy figure. We're so close to a thousand videos on the channel uh, in the space of three years or under three years. Of course, next month will be the um, three years on YouTube, Matt, which is crazy to think about for months here, but yeah. Maybe three years doing this, uh, uploading every single day, looking at my camera every single day for like three years, crazy. But yeah, we're here for the uh, transfer stories, really. Um, and there's two, maybe it's three coming out of the middle at the minute. Uh, one possible incoming and a few going out. Uh, I'll get into a major one at the end of the video or somewhere inside the video, so don't go and skip it to the end, much appreciated. Uh, the first one being an incoming one, possibly Billy Sharp. I heard about this one um, last week from a good friend of mine, Liam. He did tell me about it. Um, he said, look, uh, this guy could be coming in. I've heard from other sources. He sort of said, okay, no problem. Uh, and then, of course, last night I seen it. I put a bit, basically favourites, about seven or six to one we are, uh, ahead of everybody else, to sign Billy Sharp from Sheffield United, who, of course, is Sheffield United's captain, um, to bring him to the Championship, which, and with no disrespect to him, I know he's in the Premier League now, I know he's a captain of a Premier League team. I do feel like he's at his very, very best inside the championship and he's playing at a level, which does excite me. Uh, of course, our aim is to get outside of the um, championship back to the Premier League within time. Um, and listen, if we can do it this, this season, then pff, it's absolutely fantastic. If we don't, then you know it's it's all good in the other, I suppose. But if Billy Sharp is to come into the butter, an absolute tremendous sign that would be. Absolutely unbelievable. I rate him highly. I love Billy Sharp. He's a fantastic footballer. You know, he's captain of a Premier League team for a reason. Um, you know, the way he sort of presents himself and everything else. He's a fantastic footballer. Um, and for me, people are saying that, you know, he's 34, 33, 34 year old. Oh, don't get him. He's too old. He's still got the eye for goal inside the championship. He, for me, is one of... One of put it this way. I see him as a pretty lethal striker inside the championship. I'm quite honest with you. And it's one that does interest me quite heavily. The next one is an outgoing, and we could be getting our money back for uh, Brett Sambalonga. Um, Aston Villa, £15 million. Uh, a big, big rumour coming out of Villa Park is that one, of course. Um, Danny Drinkwater is going to have a medical there as well to go there for a season long loan, I believe, or should I say for a season half loan, considering that we are having to the second part of the um, season. <clears throat> but yeah, Brett Sambalonga to Aston Villa for £15 million quid. If they're going to pay £15 million for Brett Sambalonga, I'll snap their hands off. We get our money back for him, um, I'm more than happy to do that. Listen, I'm absolutely over the moon because not the fact that I don't like Brit, not the fact that I don't rate Brit, um, but with no disrespect to him, he's been no real big loss in the last couple of games. In fact, ever since he sort of stepped outside the team, we've, we've gone unbeaten. Uh, we won four games in a row, uh, drew to Tottenham. Um, that's since he's sort of left the squad from injury or whatever he went away with. Um, so yeah, put us on bond to Aston Villa. £15 million pound move, if it goes through, then fair play it goes through, and best luck to him the first of his career. I did see yesterday <coughs> that apparently Brett Sambalonga could be going on a loan move to somewhere inside the country, I don't know where, but apparently the loan move is that he goes on loan, and the end of the season becomes permanent, so wherever he's going to go to on loan, I presume that he's going to stay there, and pretty much completely transfer at the end of the season. I've seen a few teams, Sheffield United, Celtic, Bristol City, and of course, Aston Villa's a new one. Um, real, real, real interest in signing there. Um, but like I say, 15 million quid. It's a lot of money. I know we pay that from Nottingham Forest to Brits on Bologna. You know, he gets 16 goals a season normally. Follows how well we do inside the Premier League. I don't think he's ever played in the Premier League either, but I could, be, I could be wrong. But I don't think he's ever played at that level of the Premier League. But listen, fair play to him if he does go. Cheers to everything, Brit. And the one that's pretty much happened, one that I'm absolutely gutted about, if I'm quite honest with you, I love the broke man, he's a fantastic goalkeeper. We signed him from West Ham three and a half years ago. Probably under the promise that Borough would come back to the Premier League uh, under Gally Monk. Of course, that didn't happen. He stuck with us though. And yeah, it's a real shame But Darren Randolph. Um, it's pretty much complete. It's not confirmed, but it's pretty much complete. Uh, I believe he's doing his medical this morning or yesterday. Um, you know, towards like last night. I'd be absolutely good when it does officially come out. Like, you know what I mean? That is like obviously announced that he has definitely moved. Um, and that's Darren Randolph the brother will love you more than you will know um, <laughs> yeah no listen I'm serious so I'm absolutely gutted man the fact that he's leaving us Darren Randolph I absolutely love the bloke he's a fantastic goalkeeper um, just yeah I, I, just, I can't speak bad about him because I had a real sort of love for Darren Randolph I thought he was fantastic 
probably our best goal goalkeeper I've seen since Matt Swater. Um, and that's saying something, you know what I mean? Listen, Matt Swater was a goalkeeper I've seen from literally going and watching put at the age of three right up. And then, of course, Star Randolph came in about oh, three and a half years ago. And for me, he's made an impact. He's been absolutely fantastic for us. He's been a standout goalkeeper. I'm absolutely good that he's going back to West Ham. I really am. But listen, if he's been brought here under the idea that, you know, you know, Butter will be back inside the Premier League inside the next three and a half year. And Butter haven't been. If he's had to take a pay cut from West Ham, I say if he sacrificed things along the way, then listen, if he has to go back there, then he has to go back there. Four million pound is the transfer fee, but apparently we still owe 1.5 million of our transfer of him from three and a half years ago. How much that is true, I honestly don't know. All I do know is that the facts and figures are a four million pound move. West Ham have came in for Darren Randolph. I'm gutted. I'm absolutely gutted the fact that Dan Randolph is leaving Middlesbrough. Um, he was such a good goalkeeper for us. Ireland International, um, first choice goalkeeper for Ireland, first choice for the Butter. Dan Randolph, I can't speak highly enough of you. Um, thank you so much for everything you did for us. Um, what a goalkeeper he was. He was absolutely just incredible. And I can literally make a video, which I probably will make a full video, basically give my full opinion on him but uh, you know short and sweet Darren thank you so much man for everything you did um, proper proper good goalkeeper for us class absolute class some of the saves he'd make you couldn't understand that he was even making them uh, out of this world goalkeeper especially inside the championship and I said it many times that he was easily easily inside the top three best goalkeepers inside this championship and even now we've been moving on I still I still stand by that comment he was absolutely fantastic for us He's probably going to go bench one. I've heard a few people say that to say that to me. I don't know if people are being salty or whatever, but a lot of people said, listen, he's going to basically bench warm. Fabianski is the first choice goalkeeper at West Ham. If he's done that, then I don't understand the logic. But then again, if someone at West Ham said, oh, look, at, we're going to give you an extra 20 grand, 20 grand a week if you sign for us, then that kind of makes sense. Money does talk. But listen, Darren, he came from West Ham, he's going back to West Ham. Thank you for everything you did for us. But yeah, people, like I say, transfer stories, what do you make of him? Comment down below. And uh, like you say, man, you know what I mean? Have your opinion. Let's have a chat about the transfers I've just mentioned. And if you know any, any incomings or outgoing to do with the butter, or if was one from your team, do comment down below. And uh, let's say more transfer uh, sort of stories coming, possibly this week and more uh, inside this month. See so, yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you very, very soon. We're up the butter.